الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی و صحبی و صلی اللہ بعد As Muslims, we distance ourselves from fanaticism and suicide bombings and all of these other types of uh, heinous crimes and actions of wanton violence. And the, following the advice of some of our esteemed scholars of this time, Rahimahumullah Ta'ala, and those that are living, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve them or protect them, but going with the statement of Al-Muhaddith Al-Albani Al-Imam Shaykh Nasir Din Al-Albani Rahimahullah Ta'ala who was a great scholar of this time when he was asked regarding the suicide bombs he gave a very beautiful and concise response he said Al-Amaliyat Al-Intihariya Fi Zaman Al-Hadir Al-An Kulluha Ghayr Mashru'a Wa Kulluha Muharrama وَقَدْ تَكُونْ مِنَ الْعَنْوَاءِ الَّذِي يُخَلِّ صَاحِبُهُ فِي النَّارِ هَذِهِ عَمَلِيَاتَ الْإِنْتِهَارِيَ لَيْسَتْ إِسْلَامِيَّةَ إِطْلَاقٍ Beautiful statement of the Shaykh, of the Imam, of the Muhaddith, Alam Rufani, رحمه الله تعالى. So the Shaykh said, he said that suicide, uh, suicide missions in this time that they are all unlegislated acts, meaning that they're all, and they're all prohibited. They're all unlegislated, meaning they're not in accordance with the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. They have nothing to do with Islam, and they are all prohibited. And he said, and it can even be of the type of action which can enter the person who does it into the hellfire forever. These are those Uh, suicide missions and they have nothing to do with Islam absolutely absolutely nothing to do with Islam this is the statement of Sheikh Nasruddin al-Albani one of the Salafi scholars of this uh, time rahimahullah ta'ala wa rahimahumullah jami'an and we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses them to be of the inhabitants of Jannah to Fardos, the highest level of paradise and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect his religion and protect his minhaj and protect his da'wah, his propagation and allow for his religion subhanahu wa ta'ala to be propagated in its correct light by those people who are adhering to the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and may Allah preserve our scholars and our du'at, those people who propagate the religion and protect us from the evil of those people who innovate and